Well, this is where it all started 50 years ago. Little 250 Club, my father, Des Keener, made. And uh, we had five boys and he looked for a cheap sport and this was the cheapest he could make. So he made the club and we progressed from there. He, it's a bad disease, but we've caught it all. Yeah, with this little car here, Ross uh, had the Sasko at the time, so he concentrated on the midget to drive instead of driving them both. And he was kind enough to give me a ride in this one. And uh, at that stage, we started, i run this against the former 500s back in the day, and they told us, uh, start us at the rear, and they said, when we come to lap, we keep a low line. Well, green flag went, and I end up getting third from the back. So it's a very fast little car, and uh, it's uh, probably one of the last ones to race this one. Another, another quick story on this car, we uh, went to Yandina for the Leader Club title and they said, oh, you can be a guest and run at the back if you want and see how you go and if you qualify, you can run. Well, there was two of us there and we broke the lap record by about a second and miles fastest. The Leader Club had a meeting and decided that um, these were too dangerous to run with them because they was unsafe. So we didn't, we didn't run, but we had them beat. When I first got started, I was 15, and we um, run a quarter midget, and that club wasn't going anywhere far, so my father made the 250 speed car club. Now his background was he was in the army, and he used to race down at the Hume Weir. As we were getting older, in about 73, 74, we had nothing to do, we had a whole bunch of kids, and we, you know, we used to be troubled. So he said, well, what's the easiest way is I'll, I'll make these, and then we uh, had our own track at Calabar. Very quickly it uh, progressed to um, nearly 40 odd cars. And they were very cheap to run. You could, you could make a frame in a weekend for under $200. Um, my father was a big influence on us. Um, he was a very, very, very good mechanic. Um, and he just instigated, made it foolproof, made it so it was cheap, it was an economical sport, and nearly everyone around Speedway had driven or been on one of these. I still got my original 250 at home that Ross built in 1977. Um, I, I was the owner of, at 14, I couldn't race it till I was 16, so I had drivers driving for me at 14. Uh, Dad just did that to keep us off the streets. And, um, yeah, I've still got it today. That's what started all off. Now I've progressed into midgets after that, but uh, Dad invented, uh, redesigned all the independent rear enders on these because they used to be rigid back in the day. And uh, put a jack shaft in the middle as well to, to stop the chain whipping. Just all, he was a great engineer that Dad was. He was and, very smart. And, and run on methanol. They, they run on methanol too. Yeah, that's him in the little pink car. We all used to call him Pinky. So, um, we've got a unique collection and uh, that, that was our attitude to get them. There's five number ones in this shed. We had a few more, but they've, they've um, found new homes. But the Keith Mann car, that's a Murphy number one. It, it won the Australian title. This one's a, a Sasko Edmonds, and it won the USAC title for Dave Strickland in America. The car behind me, which is the Autocraft Volkswagen, it's the house car. If you are a good driver from Patterson to Tommy White to Rice, they drove the car and, and every one of those in their rights were number one for that series. The Kenyan car, uh, it was uh, banned in America. It was very quick uh, and uh, very noisy. It does uh, 13,000 revs and it consists of two 1100 Suzuki's with a common crank. So it's a V8 um, with, a, with a Mel Kenyan frame. Mel Kenyon is a special person because he got his uh, involved in an accident, an IndyCar accident, and burned his hand. Um, nearly cost him his life, and um, since then he's won a lot of championships. He's won all the USACs. He's won um, six, eight USAC titles since then. So that's how talented the bloke is. He, he used to uh, crew for um, AJ Foyt's cars. He'd do uh, build cars for AJ Foyt, etc. So that's a pedigree of the bloke. Him and his brother uh, are, are legendary. And Mel was driving right up to his 82. So that was about five years ago now, I think. So he's about 87 now. So he almost won the last feature he, he gave in. He, he missed by about an inch, they reckon. He, he just got pipped on the post. He led it and led it and got post. But this is a beautiful car. It'll sit here and idle, just like a road car. It'll, it'll do everything right. 
And then uh, when we were first doing, we, we were just doing demonstrations at exhibition with it. And when we bought Mel, he said, oh no, we're going to do some hot laps in it. So we had to put some tyres on it and Freddie organised some rims and that at the time. And, and yeah, he, he did some hot laps in it. So yeah, he wasn't mucking around and it's still a good car today. It, it, it's very fast. It's um, the, the, this type of engine, they've banned it all around the place now too. So they even banned it in Australia. The, the V8 uh, motorbike motor won Australian title with uh, Davy Ray in it, and then they banned it ever since then. So, yeah, we got a few cars here today. We had to leave a few soldiers behind because we run out of cars and trailers and people and stuff. But the Kena collection's growing. We've got 16 midgets and two 250s, and this is the uh, Kelly Holden. Uh, I only purchased his car probably six months ago. I think. Yeah and restored it, and I bought it straight from the Kelly family, uh, from Bill Kelly's son, and it was built in 1948. And they originally had an A model Ford in it. You know, it's one of the famous cars in, that did a lot in exhibition grounds in the early days with Des Kelly in it, racing it as well, and, and I purchased it off the family. Never left the family until I got it, I'm the second owner of it, so. And uh, I've, yeah, I've just restored, I've only just finished it probably a month and a half ago and kept the, preserved the 40 year old paint job on it and just got the sign right and touched up. I didn't want to do too much to it, but I, I, I just cleaned it all up. Ross and I have got a car each down the Gold Coast Motor Museum. We've got them in there permanently. Ross has got a Curtis Craft Offenhauser and I've got a, a B model Ford, which is uh, hand beaten steel. We try and share them around as much as we can so people can enjoy them. I've got plenty of race cars and I've had, had plenty over the years. Um, some of uh, John Andretti have owned Cosworths, so I've had um, Jeff Gordon's, I've had uh, Tony Stewart's. Uh, Jeff Gordon's was a Pontiac and Stewart's was a V4. Um, I've also had Wanless's Volkswagen I've restored and owned once. It, they're, they're over in New Zealand now and I've sold them back to America. Speedway's been a big part of my life for over 50 years.